Let's try to add some details and we'll um, add an aspect card, which is the last card. Okay. So we have glorious, treacherous, wish granting, and cloying. Cloying means clingy or it's like unpleasant. I don't remember what exactly what that word means. Easy to look it up. I've heard it used perhaps in the sense of smell where something smells dead mm. or something, but I don't think that's a right. Let me just look so, it shall up. We, yeah, let's look it up so we have the I right have no idea. So the definition of cloying is disgusting or distasteful by reason of excess, mm. like cloying sweetness, excessively sweet or sentimental, a cloying romantic comedy. Her coyness grows cloying after a while. Interesting. Okay, so it's, yeah, just like too much. Okay. Okay, interesting. So. Glorious, treacherous, wish granting. Those are the two that, well, glorious and treacherous are interesting. Because as treacherous as we saw Adolf Hitler, he saw what he was doing as glorious. Like he was saving the world. So the context and the point of view with which you look at these things, like this automaton could be treacherous and yet feel like it's doing the world a huge service. And it might be monstrous, but the robot may be programmed in such a way that it can't see that what it's doing is evil or wrong or ethically questionable or that kind of thing. So, so those are both very interesting. And then wish granting is fascinating. And it's interesting in part because of where quantum physics is going these days and an automaton's ability to um, manufacture, like Robbie the robot could like, Morbius would give him a sample of lead and he'd say, make us 600 pounds of lead or 600 tons of lead and he just manufactures it inside his body one of the one of um commander adams's crewmen gives the robot a sample of whiskey and the robot says yeah I, yes i can manufacture this for you would 60 gallons be sufficient and the, the guy's like oh yeah that would be great and that's a a bit of an old school example but if a if an automaton is tapped into some sort of manufacturing capability, 3D printers, even the ability to gene splice and manufacture highly specific things to order, it opens up a kind of a HAL in 2001 type thing and obviously a genie type thing, but the capacity to manifest something that was only an idea through like state-of-the-art science and enhanced capacity and access to a, like if, it, if this robot was made by a massive like manufacturing facility, it might have access to all of that equipment, even if it's stolen access. And like, yes, I could make that happen. So it's very open-ended in that way and suggestive. <clears throat> but the one that jumps right out at me is treacherous. That like grabs me by the throat. And wish granting is like, there's a lot of fun possibilities in that. It's very open-ended. And obviously, in any story that has wish granting in it, always has the caveat of 
you know, be careful what you wished for. Like you wanted it so badly and now you have to deal with it. But that's also, I get tired of that form of wish fulfillment stories. And it's also a kind of don't you dare think big type of thing that society does to people. You think big, you're going to get it, which just is like crushing people down. You're worthless. You're no good. And I don't like that. And so I like to go the opposite way of like, you know, dare to think big, explode the boundaries. Don't let them tell you you're not allowed to be great or be dynamic or, you know, not just think outside the envelope, but disintegrate the envelope. So it's interesting and it really could, these all, except for cloying, which feels outside the context in a certain way of these things, but also while I'm not a stranger to the word, it's not part of my normal lexicon. It's not a word that just comes to mind. And I think I've read it in novels where you know, soldiers are marching through a city and there's dead bodies everywhere and they're saying the cloying smell, foulness filled their nostrils or something like that, like overly sweet and weird. And so it, the, the few contexts that I have for cloying don't jump out at me at all like these other three. I would say treacherous, treacherous and wish granting are the ones that jump out at me the most. Okay. Do you feel we have enough of the cards pulled uh, to make a story or would you like to pull an extra card um, to build more of the story around? Do you feel like you have enough here if you were to yeah, develop Yeah, I mean, there's enough here to build a story. We're absolutely building from scratch because these are just raw elements and you know you could build a, a wacko comedy or you could build a brutal thriller or anything in between so it's very open-ended you know there's a there's a direction because these things infer certain possibilities and trigger possibilities in my brain um, so part of me thinks, well, another card would be interesting, but part of me thinks there's so there's kind of an embarrassment of riches right here already, and throwing another thing into the mix might just be an unnecessary complication. So, so I'm really not sure either way. Okay, well, we can always pull a card later if, if okay. needs be.